Yeah. You know that very well. There was no reference. Look, there's no mention of what these designs are. Do you agree? So if they away, there's no mention. It? No, look, I can make a little box here and we'll still ma match that particular okay. reference. Okay. All I'm saying is that how will you connect an artist representation of what is mentioned in the in the in the Old Testament? Wait, wait. How will you connect this yeah. to Moses? Because his name is actually mentioned just prior to that whole description. Yeah, but that's still is that not that's, good enough? that's still not archaeological evidence. Okay. So do you right. agree? Look. Either you either I'm, you admit that you don't have any archaeological evidence okay. to back up your claims, or you just say the only evidence okay. we have is the, is the Old okay. Testament. Okay. That's all. No, no, I can understand where you're coming from. Good. You're saying this in itself is no more evidence than basically we're going in a circular argument to is this all Exactly, my exactly. point, yes. Okay, Finally. I can understand that. Yeah. The only other layer of evidence I can bring to bear is the fact that we both agree the temple existed. Do we both agree that the temple existed? The temple well, existed at one time, yeah. Okay. Do you know what the temple was for? For prayers. What else the temple is for? It's for worship, isn't it? Do you know why the temple was built? Uh, to basically cover the holies of the holies. Okay, this is where the gap between what the monotheists understood and what you can understand based on the scant evidence in the Quran. There's a, there's, there's a world away from the reality. I did not even mention the Quran. So no. I think, the, Colin, the, the, Colin, the, the, wait, 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 wait. Sure. With all due respect, yeah. when you make statements like that, sure. yes, the, without yeah. any evidence, did I mention the Quran? No, 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 no I did not. No, I, I wasn't so don't say scant evidence is in the Quran. Scant, compared to the evidence that I've got here in my Torah yeah. and the references, you would agree that the Quranic references to the Old Testament would, at the very best, be scant in compared to all of this. Okay. And you don't need them. I'm not saying you need them. Exactly. So the Quran did not come. The, yes. the Quran did not come sure. to prove to us what is in the Old Testament. The Quran is a book yeah. that was given to Prophet confirming Muhammad, the last, yes, the last messengers, yeah. confirming not only what came before in terms of the okay. teachings, also confirming the previous prophets and the messengers. Right. Uh, yes? No, no, I did no. not. What I'm saying is that it confirms yeah. that Moses existed, that yeah. that Jacob existed, and the temple that, existed. Uh, that Noah, Noah existed, and that the Adam existed. And the temple? The, I don't think there's any mention of the temple in the Quran from what I know. I might be, I might be mistaken, but, 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 but wait a minute, wait a minute, Colin. The details the two, lacking. Yeah, we don't need the details for our salvation. This is the difference between us. The details are available, but you say that they're not reliable. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't change what I said. I said, I said the details are not necessary because they are not required for our salvation. Okay, I understand it. Because the Quran is the final revelation, yes. because the Quran is it's the criteria, is I can on understand. Revelation. Essentially, the Quran Allah. is your method of exegesis. No, no, it is. No, it's not. Because the, the Quran, the, Qur it, the you Quran, the Quran, believe in anything that the Quran doesn't doesn't va validate. The Quran and the Sunnah, both. Okay. So we have the Quran and the Sunnah. Okay. Right. So because I asked Colin to prove to us Moses existed from the Bible, sure. from outside sure. the Bible, unfortunately, you were unable to do that. Even though you tried, but you so were I, unable. I was unable. You were to... unable to prove Moses existed without reference to the Bible. Without reference to the yes. Bible. So from archaeological perspective, no. No. you were unable to prove the existence of Moses. Do you think, Can we agree on that? Do you think the Talmud confirms that Moses exists? The Talmud. Mm. Again, the Talmud, when you talk about the Talmud, the oral tradition yeah. of the of the Jewish people, yeah. Yeah. again, it's, it's, it's from the scriptures. The, the oral tradition of the people who gave us the Old Testament, the Torah, yeah. have always unif uniformly involved Moses as the centerpiece of their whole religion. He was the person, he was the patriarch of patriarchs. Are you trying to say that there's, unless I That's can... still not archaeological evidence. Okay, okay. <laughs> so shall we agree there is no archaeological evidence which right. you claimed earlier okay. with regards to Moses? Are you going to agree with upon that? to Moses? Yes. Okay, yeah, this is an archaeological evidence. What? The, 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 the Talmud. Torah, the Torah. Oh, no, the Talmud. Please. No, I'm agreeing with you. Allow me to agree with you. I'm, that's not a trap. I agree with you. I'm agreeing with so you. So you agree I'm what? Saying, that there I'm is no archaeological you evidence? That my claim I can give you archaeological evidence has not been backed up by my reference to the Talmud or to the Torah. Okay, so as far as Moses is concerned, okay. we don't have any archaeological evidence. To prove that he exists? Yes. Do we need it? 
as as believers we don't need it yeah. but because that is a claim you make Sorry, uh, yeah. no no Colin Colin because that was the standard you use yeah. use you know remember no, hold on, hold on. Colin, Colin we were discussing yeah. about the the hadith yes okay. I told I told you that we have the science of hadith we have yeah. the chain of narration sure we have the matan the body itself to verify right. we have the the uh, the elm or rajal which is basically every single node within the chain of narration sure. Sure. we know who they were we know their biographies yes? yes you on the other hand have a thousand year gap which you cannot fill without the only way you can a certain sorry the yeah. only way you will believe what moses said is basically take at face value what you have in the extant manuscripts or in the uh, Pentateuch or in the um, the, the Dead Sea Scrolls which which again date to a thousand years after Moses okay. well, wait 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 yeah, go on. the difference between that yeah. and the hadith that we have even the weakest hadith yes, yes. the Daif hadith we have yes even the Daif hadith the weak hadith they have the chain of narration they have the matan they have the Alma Rijal to back it up but you see yeah. unfortunately for the Christians and the Jews they do not have such a a rich science to verify their scriptures. All you have to say is, yes, this is what we found in the Deskri scroll, uh, scroll okay. in, in, in a desert a long time ago, and we are going to believe that is exactly what the people believed when Moses used to preach the Torah. Yeah. But you see, the, the, this is a claim. This is nothing okay. that you can verify. You know, the problem exists though in a whole ream of Quranic verses that actually confirm these books that you're saying I can't prove to be true. So you need the Quran to verify your uh, your book? For you I do. But it's not for me, I'm asking about you. Yeah. How will you it? verify? See, I, I you know, so many times I've asked you this question, Colin, how will you verify? Not how will I verify? How will you, as a believer, yeah. verify? Now you're saying the only way you'll fall back is on the Quran. Seriously? Right. No, for you, because it's the only way you It wasn't for me, the question take. is for you, my okay. friend. Okay. How will Colin verify that your old, the Old Testament okay. that you have today right. in possession, which you have a thousand well, year gap between the yeah. extant, Let me have a earliest Let me have extant a manuscript? Okay, what I have here is a 900 year predating Torah to the Quran. This is the Torah that was accessible by the community of people called the Jews, the ones on whom we base uh, are being people of the book. The monotheistic foundations, they accept this book. They do not dispute it. They don't dispute anything in this book. This has been accepted uniformly within the whole history of Judaism and from the earliest, earliest copies, this is it. Now, Hashim, Hashim, it, Hashim, it? Hashim is That's saying... That's a claim. That's Hashim, a claim is saying that, that the fact that this predated Muhammad by 900 years, it doesn't authenticate it. Now, the only way that he can coherently undermine this is to produce me something else. Colin, Colin. Can you produce Colin, me you know what you have done there? When I asked you the question, yeah. you put the question back on me. Look, I don't no. need, hold on, hold on, Colin. Listen to the question. I, I think that I is a, no, I the problem is you're not listening. Listen to the question. Yeah. The question is for you as a Christian, yeah. yes? Yeah. Because you believe that the Old Testament and the New Testament yes. are both revelations from God. I do. They're both inspirations from God. Yes. Now you see, before the Quran came, mm. like you said, 600 years or even more, like 2000 years sure. since Moses, whatever you say, yeah. despite that, regardless of that, yes. how will you call in? If you were in the time of, say, um, before Muhammad, a hundred years before Muhammad, before even the Quran was revealed. Okay, yeah, listen, listen. Yeah, listen. Yes. Before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was even born. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's say you were a believing Christian. You had that book in your hand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How will you call in, yeah. verify what Moses said, mm -hmm. more than fourteen hundred years, or sorry, in that time it will be like nineteen hundred years. Sure. Yes. Sure. Yeah. How will you verify it? I'd ask the Jews. And you'll take it at face value? I would. You would. Yep. So the Jews will tell you. Who would you ask? Wait a minute. Who would you ask? Wait a minute. One at a time. Yeah. So the Jews the will tell you. The Jews will tell you. They'll show me. No, they will tell they you. They won't tell me. They will show yeah, they me. They can show you. So you're telling me that yeah. if they show you the book, you'll believe it. They will show me a copy that predates Muhammad by 900 years. You keep saying that. Is, it that, is, that, is that like a point you're trying to score there? No, the, the point is... Just because it predates no, something no. doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> if you can't show me... Otherwise you'd you become know. a Hindu, you know, well, the Bhagavad Gita predates the Old Testament by so many th hundreds yeah. and thousands of where years. Can find, but the thing is, yeah, you wouldn't believe in the Bhagavad Gita as see, the original see, share, where can from find, God. Where unfortunately, with time and space and matter? So What's as that? far as asking for evidence, matter meaning physical yeah. things, right? 
when you say to me, show me evidence. Yes. How will you verify what Moses said? And I go back to the very earliest evidence. Which is? You claim, which is how many years? On, but you're saying, you need to prove this wrong. No, I don't need to no, prove no, no, this no, no, right. No. The onus is on you because no, you're making no, no. the No, no, You're the one who believes in it. Yes. I don't need to believe in it. Right. All I need to know is that Torah was given to Moses yes. and the Angel was given to his... Show me where Colin, the corruption is. Colin, wait a minute. Let yeah. me finish. Yeah. As a Muslim, yeah. all I'm required to believe is that the Torah was revealed to Musa alayhi salam and the Angel was revealed to Isa alayhi salam. Yeah. So as far as my faith is concerned, yes, I already believe that. I don't need to produce actual evidence okay. to believe that. That is by faith. Wait, 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 a, wait a minute. Colin, Colin, wait a minute. Okay. By faith. Yeah, yeah. I can believe that by faith it was it was given to him. I also know that over time these books were corrupted and things were added in it and things were removed from it. Again, this is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 79, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse 38 and so on. Right. So this evidence is already there in the Quran that these books were corrupted. However, the Quran and the Sunnah do not say Pennies dropped. Pennies dropped. I understand. No, no, I haven't Drop finished. Pick, the Quran and the Hadith do not say that all of the Old Testament and all of the New Testaments have been corrupted. Right. It does not say that. Yeah. But there is corruption in it. Right. It does mention that. Okay, Hashim, what you're Let saying Let me finish. Then... I haven't finished. You need to understand the question I'm asking you. The yeah. question I'm asking yeah. you is that without you yeah. using evidence, i.e. the Quran, because you know you don't believe in the Quran, yeah. yes, you don't believe in the Sunnah, yeah, and I'm so not you cannot. To yeah, exactly. So you, so for you to, you for you to take support from the Quran okay. and the Hadith okay. would be pointless because this, you don't believe in it. This is my, this is what puzzles me. What? I'm not required to believe in my faith the Quran. Hashim, on the other hand, is bound to accept this Surah. O, pe o people of the Scripture, you are nothing until you uphold the Torah and the Gospel and what has been revealed to you. So what Hashim is saying, I need to provide evidence that goes back beyond the 900 years prior to the Quran. But the only evidence he needs to provide is evidence 900 years later than my evidence. No, I don't. No, because your sole, Read that no, again. No, no. your sole root, your sole source of evidence is something that came 900 years No, ago. that's not my sole evidence. Well, what my, other evidence my sole evidence, got? my sole evidence is the Quran. Well, I've just said that. Okay. Read that, read that, years. read can, that, read that verse again, the one you just read. Can we just confirm that what, what you've just said? What? I made the statement that your evidence, your source of evidence is 900 years later than my evidence. I'm not what is required, the point you're making? No, the point I'm saying is, you're asking me yeah. to provide you with archaeological evidence, scriptural evidence, a whole raft of evidences that actually predate the evidence I've got to show that it goes right back to, to yes, Moses. Yes, exactly, yes. Asking. And, and you haven't been able to, to you, provide that. What I'm saying to you is, yes. I can give you evidence, I can give you a quantity of evidence. You tried, but you failed. Hang on, hang on. And the only evidence you've got yeah. is something which is written 900 years after this that I'm not even required to believe in. No, no, hold on, hold on. This is what but I don't understand. You see, you see that? Colin, you see, this is very, very different. The, why do you think I asked you for yeah. archaeological evidence? Yes. Because that is what you claim you have. Okay. But when I actually questioned you on it, yeah. it turns out you don't have anything. Pin me down on it. I did. Right, pin yes. me down again on it. Okay. Pin me down. Pin, pin okay. you down? Okay. Wait, wait. What, first and foremost, do yeah. you agree that that is the evidence that you claim you had? I'm claiming that there is archaeological evidence yes. to support the existence of the temple and I can show you very clearly from the people of the book what the purpose of the temple was. But my question wasn't about the temple. Remember, my question was about Moses. And you and you said you had Ar archaeological evidence archaeological to prove these evidence things. Archaeological evidence that links the existence of Moses with the temple is, is what no, I... No. You I, know how you... And I succeeded okay. in Colin, doing Colin, that. Colin, you know how you... You know, you, well you know how you link Moses to the temple if there was an inscription on the temple wait no 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 that is not archaeology if you if Nobody you find him to the listen listen if you find an inscription on the temple that mentions the name of Moses for example then it would link Moses to the temple archaeologically what you're saying you have evidence in here wait wait Colin Colin no, no. I don't think you understand no, the meaning no. of archaeological think, evidence uh, in order for you to Moses link is Moses not archaeological. no I didn't say Moses no. I said the evidence of yeah. Moses and existence, yeah. yes, Next week, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. is um, for you to find an inscription yes. on a temple, gotcha. Gotcha. on a gotcha. temple, gotcha. and then I would say yes, okay. you have a link yeah. to Moses, okay. Okay. and this is proved tell me archaeologically. Tell me if you think this is an adequate answer to what you've just said. Yeah, go on. You tell me. Right, what I've tried to do, and I think I've already proven it, 
I'm trying to link Moses with the archaeological evidence of the temple. I can't provide you with archaeological evidence of Moses because I don't know where his bones are. But That's I all I wanted show to show you that in the history of the Jewish people, they had a Moses temple. and the temple. Now the temple is my link to the archaeological evidence. No, it's not. It is. It's not. Unless you find an it inscription is. of Moses in the temple, then you'll have an archaeological evidence I of Moses. Read you. All you have is an archaeological right. evidence that a temple existed. Oh. And even then, this temple, what have you got of the temple today? Go the Western on. Wall? Right. The Western Wall was basically built much later on. I'd ask yes? you, you, you know the stones you see there? These are not the real yeah, stones. Yeah. This was built later Hashim, on. Hashim, in the Quran, does it mention the temple or anything to do with its specifications or its purpose? Does it mention No, it doesn't. It? No, not it, that I know. It does in here. But this, is, this has never been disputed by the history of the Jewish people going way, way back. In fact, there is no recorded part of the history of the Jewish people that does anything else but validate what I've just said. But, and you say, hang on, you, are you saying... But Colin, I never, I never right. asked you about the existence of the temple. Right. You see, you keep going back to the temple because that's yes. the only thing you have archaeologically available. Of course, yes? of course. Yeah, what else but you see, the reason, the reason you want to now focus on the temple yes. is because you're unable to answer my question about the evidence of Moses. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to link Moses with the temple and show that the story, if you want, you can't pick the temple and Moses apart. They are in I didn't, I'm not picking them no, up. No, but this is my I'm point. asking you, where's the evidence that okay. Moses existed unless you show me an inscription in the temple that mentions Moses? But because you do not have that from 2,000 year old, sorry, not 2,000, in the case of yeah. Moses, it would be 3,500 3, year old. Into the so if you have a 3,500 year old evidence of an inscription yeah. that mentions Moses, then that okay. would be considered as archaeological evidence in your in your in your okay. in the absence of that all you have is faith right that's okay. not archaeology okay. well, look, i'm going to give you some look, i think we're going in circles i think okay yeah what, what we need, no, yeah we should call yeah. it a day unless okay, fair enough okay. what i'm saying is calling do yeah, not make have one yeah, yeah do not okay. make assertions that okay. you cannot substantiate yes okay. i can show you things from the quran i can show you you can show me things from the bible yeah. but you see that is something which is faith based but obviously, there are things within the Quran mm. and within the, the Bible which you can back up from archaeology. I'm not saying okay. there aren't any. Okay? okay? Yeah. All I'm saying is that when it comes to certain things, like for example, I showed you a gap of more than a thousand years between yeah. the extant manuscripts that you have today mm. of the Old Testament yeah. and, the t and the time of Moses, more than mm. a thousand years. Yeah. Now, how will you fill this gap? You said you have archaeological evidence. Wait, That's wait. Really you said you have archaeological yeah. evidence. Yeah. And then I asked you, can you show me Moses existed yeah, from archaeological yeah, evidence? Yeah. And all you were able to show me is a temple. And even the temple, which you showed me, is actually an artist, uh, an artist's uh, representation of what the temple might have looked okay. like. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. is look. This is nothing. There's nothing wrong in that. Yeah. An artist imagining sure, what the temple sure. might have looked like. But as yeah. far as the archaeological okay. evidence I, for I Moses can, is I, concerned, I can see where you're coming from. there is none. Hashim, just kind of to round this up. Yeah, sure. Because, because in Leviticus. God is saying to Moses, the Lord says to Moses, tell your brother Aaron, he shall not enter at any time into the holy place. Now, unfortunately, Hashim didn't know what the holy place was or its purpose behind the veil. Before the mercy seat, I read out the description of the mercy seat. The mercy seat was in between the two cherubs, which is clearly referenced here in my talk. You didn't tell us what was the purpose, by the way. Which is on the ark, or he shall die. I will appear in the cloud above the mercy seat. That's the purpose. Can I just Sorry, what is the purpose again? The purpose of the mercy seat is where the presence of God would appear on the Day of Atonement. Once what year, happens on the Day of Atonement? Hold in. This is the Day of Atonement. What happens on the Day of Atonement? Huh? What do they do on the Day of Atonement? The corporate sins of the Jewish no nation are atoned for in vicarious sacrifice. Exactly. So what happens to the sacrifices huh? afterwards? Huh? The yes. blood of the of the, of the bull exactly is taken what I said. into... Thank you very much. The, the blood of the bull is taken into... This is exactly what I said. They used to actually... You, they used to put the burnt offerings yeah. in this place, in the Holies yeah. of Holies, yeah. yes? And then some sort of a flame would appear. Am I right? Yes, so don't tell me no, I didn't know this. No, we, uh, earlier on you said you didn't. No, I said, I you told you, but you, you were not listening. Me, the, the, no, no, I said they would the put the burnt offerings. You said the sacrifices happened in the Holy No, Holy I didn't say that. that. I said the burnt offerings were put there. 
Did he not hear? No, the blood of the burnt offering. The burnt offering couldn't be put in there because it was being okay, burnt. Okay, the blood. The now blood you're getting technical with me. Off. No, the blood is the okay, blood. Okay, anyway, look. Anyway, Hashim, you yeah. know, God bless you. I mean, that was a little bit fine, but we did well. I think we did <laughs> yeah. well. I'm, I'm happy anyway. with it. I'm happy with well, it. Job okay, pleasure. thank you very much, Colin, for, your, sure. for the discussion. All right, Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, brothers and sisters in Islam. First of all, I would like to say Eid Mubarak to everyone. And Jazakallah khairan for supporting us and uh, for helping us and making dua for us, uh, especially for the da'wah in the park. And maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us this opportunity in the park every Sunday to give da'wah. And alhamdulillah, we got brothers like Colin who have discussions and we learn from each other. Yes. So sometimes it, a dialogue turns into a debate and a debate might get a bit... Um, Can I own up to a mistake? <laughs> we, we get carried sure, away sometimes. Sure. And, and you know, I think part of the problem is we don't ask for God's blessing on the conversation which we should, we should ask for God to be here. And can I just say as a, as a Christian, um, the Lord thy God is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. I believe in one God. Alhamdulillah. Amen. God bless you. And we associate no partners with him. Uh, no, give to the, the owners. So yeah, assalamu alaikum. Jazakallah khairan for your support and for your dua. Islamnet is establishing the first of its kind mega mosque. Think about that. And Dawa Center in Norway. If you donate to support this cause on behalf of your parents, Allah will inshallah build a home for them in Jannah. Because the Prophet Muhammad SAW said, whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build a house for him in Jannah. So you can inshallah help your parents earn the eternal home in paradise right now by clicking the link below.